Hey guys, I'm back and we have a brand new update of Realm of Thrones version 3.5 coming out for download very soon. I'm going to give you a little uh, preview of what's changed. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So uh, let's go ahead and just check it out. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is if you scroll down, we have a whole new culture, the Sarnori, uh, to choose from. We're going to go ahead and choose that and check it out. Uh, okay, these the, the Sarnori, they're in Essos. They're in between the Dothraki. And kind of in between Kohor, Lorath, and the Dothraki. They're right here. Uh, they're supposed to be the River Sarn through here. They had not created yet. But uh, here they are. A whole new kingdom in Essos with a whole new culture. We'll go ahead and check out the uh, troops real fast. Okay. This is a, a th this uh, race was known as uh, the Tall Men. They were known to have dark skin dark hair, dark eyes, and they were nearly completely wiped out uh, by the Dothraki. So here here they are. Got all kinds of different troops. They're known for chariots and their spearmen. We don't have chariots yet, but they do have we do have them some pretty pretty cool spearmen. So there we go. They have a a, a noble troop tree uh, also, but we're not going to really look at that. We're going to try to make this a real quick video. So that was just a quick look at the Sardinori. Another option. The next, the next thing that we're going to look at, let's go ahead and go all the way over here to, well, let's just, you can see we have a lot more custom banners. Uh, Essos is incomplete, but we have, you know, we, the, we have the ones for Sarnor. We got a new one for Lorath. Uh, we got a new one for Pentos, Tyros, Mir. I think that's all in, in uh, Essos. But then, as we get over here to Westeros, let's go ahead and start up here north of the wall. We've added a whole bunch of, uh, I believe it's 56 or so new clans, over 20, uh, I think 27 castles, and uh, over 250 lords. And at least, since there's 27 castles, that'll be at least, you know, two per castle. That's at least 54 new villages. I think it's more like 60 something new villages added to the map. And we got a brand new the wall model now you don't climb over the wall anymore you actually have the wall uh, you see it's got these nice little things on top of the wall right here got a gate you don't walk over the wall anymore you walk through this gate so uh, there you go we got the wall model I got this uh, this model made I told him I told him low poly I wish I would have told him medium poly but uh, for low poly I think it looks pretty good uh, I actually told him to put the gate two-thirds of the way across the wall so I don't know exactly what his math is so when I'm just looking at this wall that's about a third and that's about two-thirds <laughs> so it should have been right there but it is what it is right now we'll see if we get that fixed in the future but uh, there you go that's the wall uh, like I said there's a whole bunch of brand new banners and brand new clans uh, you know ever we could go through every one of these kingdoms and look. But let's just look at the let's just look at the kingdoms. You'll see these kingdoms are huge now. We'll start out looking at all the uh, kingdoms in Essos. I've added another clan, so they all have at least three clans. But the ones we really want to look at is the uh, ones in in, in uh, Westeros. That's where I've been focusing. We'll start out. Let's go ahead and start out. Uh, we're not going the Free Folk. We added one clan to the Night's Watch. We added a clan to. If we go to the uh, free houses, we added several clans to. We've added uh, House House Riswell and House Stout. Next one we'll go down to. Let's check out the Iron Islands. Added uh, House, I believe, which ones are new? House Black Tide and House Orkwood. Next one we reach down the list is the Riverlands. Now we're getting to some pretty big kingdoms. 
we've added uh, the new ones are House Bracken, Bracken, House Smallwood, House Vance, and House Dairy. So you see, see how big this kingdom is? That's what, seven? So that's 11 clans just in the Riverlands. The next one we hit up is the uh, Stormlands. It looks like they have 11 also. Seven, yeah, 11. We added House Errol. Estermont. And thanks to Stranger for all these brand new banners. They're not all complete, but uh, a lot of them are, especially in Westeros. We got uh, Clan Wild, Clan Mertens, House Mertens, and Don Darien, of course. So keep on rolling. We'll get some really big kingdoms, some of our biggest kingdoms. The, we'll start looking at the north. The new ones are uh, House. I think, I think Hornwood was already there, but we got House Flint, Forrester, House Flint of uh, Widow's Watch, and House Lock. So that gives you, what, 14? No, 13. 13 clans in the north. And we'll check out the Reach now. They got 13 clans also. We got, we've added House Caswell, Beesbury, Black Bar, Kai, Oakheart, and Bulwer. Let's check out the Veil. I've added, uh, let's see who I was here. We added House Redfort, Bellmore, Coldwater, and Waxley. That's one of the one of the only towns I added to this version. Uh, this version was was Wickenden, but uh, I added a whole bunch of castles. And who else of Westeros we got left? Well, let's go. Ahead. We got the Westerlands, another thirteen clan kingdom. We added uh, House Brax, Westerling, Rosby, Bainfort, and uh, Sarit. And I think the only person left in Westeros is Dorne. And Dorne, we added uh, House Blackmont, Jordan, Holland, Will, Wow, however you say that, and Quargill, Quargile, however you say that. So that's huge kingdoms in Westeros now you're going to have to fight through. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is. Let's see, what else we need to look at? We just kind of. You know, we'll just start out the veil. You see, we got the red fort right here, and we got uh, how do we get way up here? And of course, I added Wickenden right here. We added um, Derry and Rosby right down here in the Crown Lands. This is be the only place where you can. These two villages, the only place where you can get Crown Land uh, noble recruit set, Brindlewood and Traveler's Rest. You know, it's just a whole lot more crowded in Westeros now, if you, if you check it out. So, uh, I also added Robber Knights. So now there's a few Robber Knights uh, bases along this road right here. This big, I wanted to put them in these big spots where there's really nothing. So I got Robber Knights in this area, a few hideouts. I might even have one over here somewhere. And I also have them in this, uh, right up here in this area. There's some Robber Knights, I think, right in here. And I think I put a robber knight over here somewhere too. So, okay, my dude's walking around. I need to go over here and stop him before I can get up getting in battle. Okay, he stopped now. Okay, the next thing we want to look at, we'll just take a, we'll look through, uh, look at some of the new armors. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's a bunch of stuff. It's like 79 new pieces of armors, but we're going to look through some of them. Okay, I got all my uh, equipment stuff. A lot of it gathered up. We don't got time to look at everything, but we're just going to do a quick little rundown through some stuff. I got a version of Needle in the Mod right now. There's also a Bravosi sword that's longer than this. Uh, we got some Dorna swords uh, donated by Haster. We also got a Gregor Clegane. Uh, Gregor Clegane sword. It can be used as either one-handed or two-handed. So there you go. Hopefully, I, I'm gonna try to put Gregor Clegain with a shield. So try to force him to use it one-handed, maybe. But we'll see. There it is. A huge sword, Gregor Clegain sword, and we have a bunch of Valyrian steel swords by Haster too. Some kind of like generic ones, but they really look cool. I have a whole bunch of different varieties of these. The blade looks awesome. So you got several of them you can choose from. 
different pommels, different uh, guards, uh, different blade lengths. There's even a short sword if you want a faster, shorter Valyrian steel sword. You got those also. We got Lady Forlorn. This was done by Strangers. Uh, this is one of his sword mo first sword models he's done. Check it out. We got Lady Forlorn. We also got a also two-handed Valyrian steel swords. We got a dragon ga uh, glass uh, two-handed axe by taking the risk. We also got uh, ice has been redone and made ridiculously big. Check it out. It's massive, huge, giant sword. So we got ice done. We also got a bunch of halberds now. And they're uh, pretty much put, I, I got a pretty much changed up my Dragonstone troop tree so that they have halberds now instead of throwing spears. So there you go. We got dra Dragonstone halberds, two different types. What else? I think that's all for the weapons. We got just a bunch of just random stuff too. We got like Cersei, uh, Cersei's crown, Cersei's dress. But the main thing is the stuff that I had commissioned by Gulag. We're going to look through the stuff that's, that's really good. Uh, we got our reach. We got our reach equipment. Let's just go through the reach set. So we got this reach uh, helmet for like the archers. And we also have a reach helmet that's closed like this for like the soldiers. Let's go see if we can go find that. We got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip that so it don't look so stupid. Let's go ahead and equip some gloves. Let's put on these these brown gloves. Let's put on these, these John Snow boots. It looks good with pretty much everything. But there we go. Uh, let's put on the Reach armor set. We got the, of course we have the Reach basic armor. The Reach soldier armor. And you could make upgrade it to more of a heavier style by putting these pauldrons on so there we go you got that's our reach soldier right there just our basic reach uh troop the next thing we're going to look at is our let's look at our stormland stuff it has pretty much we have the same helmet but just in a different color let's see we've got the stormlands now it's kind of in this bronze looking color and we also have this version too for baratheon it's got the little stag on there so we got that let's go and put that back on there and let's look at uh our Stormlands gear. Here's our main new basic Stormlands troop armor right here. Why did I take them gloves off? Where'd it go? So there you go. There's our Stormlands troop. And then you can either upgrade them to make them a little bit more heavier. Medium armor. Stick this little gorget on there. And it comes in several different colors if you want to, if you like the silver better. Or you can go all the way full up to the heavy knight and put on the, the full gorget and the shoulders. So there you go. That's our Stormlands guy. Of course, that's in the in the Chrome too. If you want to do that, we also have uh, what's the next armor I was going to do? Oh yeah, we got a brand new. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up Stormlands first. There's also this two other versions of Baratheon. That's got the stag. We got this little cap right here, and then we have this one right here with the with the mail on it. So there you go. And we also have. A whole lot more gambesons. So we got, I didn't even put all the gambesons here, but we got a bunch of gambesons. You know, we got just a house Lannister gambeson. We just got a basic reach. I tried to get this color green to match the other color green so we don't got 50 shades of green for the reach. So that we got that. We got, you know, got one for the Riverlands. It's blue. I even made this this house Tarly one for uh, one of our devs asked for it. He wanted a house Tarly gambeson. Also got Stark. Of course, we got Stark. So we got some Stark Gambeson. There's several more of these I don't have up here. The next thing we're gonna look at is the the Reach. I mean the the not the Veil Knight armor. This is gonna be our new just basic Veil Knight armor right here. Why why ain't I got the shoes on? I keep taking the shoes off. So there you go. That'll be our Veil Knight. And then you could if we have a new Knight of the Veil helmet also. So there he is. And then you could upgrade it all the way and make it heavied out by putting these pauldrons on right here. So there you go. We got this guy, pretty badass. So there you go. Uh, and uh, so and there's also a House Aaron troop tree that has the original, you know, the original armor still. The original armor still in the game. It's got the little House Aaron sigil on the front, and it's still there. But it's just on House Aaron troops. The same way with House Martell. It'll be. I'm. I'm waiting on Gulag to make me my uh, House Martell helmet. He's. He's just now starting on it now, but. Uh, but I did 
just kind of throw together this little house Tyrell armor right here. We'll put a little thing right there, and then for right now, it's just got this 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 regular Reach helmet. Where did it go? So this is just our regular house Tyrell troop right now. But I'll eventually have that house Tyrell helmet that everybody's been wanting. So there you go. Um, okay, I also did make a. I used a model I found somewhere on one of the websites had a house Mormont model and it was all kinds of different textures and all kinds of crap it wasn't real optimal to put in a game but I took this breastplate I took the breastplate out of it and actually put it on uh, one of my other armors and I made this house Mormont this house Mormont armor so we got this also house Mormont armor and it's also got a uh, set of pauldrons somewhere where'd it go there you go you can be decked out in mormont gear if you want to pick whatever helmet out uh i put that dragonstone helmet or something on there uh you can deck them out however you want to what else there's a bunch of stuff like we got Tyrion's clothes we got uh lord varus's clothes there's a bunch of stuff that i, I pulled in from that uh that browser game we're already using the uh using the settlement icon so we might as well just use some of these things if something comes of it and we have to take it out oh well i mean it ain't no big deal but we might as well use it uh since it's just sitting right there in front of me these are really uh really low low demand for these things they're only got two textures so they don't take up a lot of space i thought it was a no-brainer to go ahead and throw them in got peter baelish's clothes a lot of the claws physics i can't get right on these things i don't know why but uh they're okay. Got the Hound's armor. We got a bunch of little stuff like that. I also redid the Unsullied armor. I, uh, oh, those boots actually look all right. With it. But I, I took the sleeves off the Unsullied armor and I made an Unsullied bracer. And I just think it looks a whole lot better. So that's going to be our Unsullied troop. They're in the desert down there in, in Slaver's Bay. So they don't look right with long sleeve. But the long sleeve one's still in the game if you like it. But this is the way the troops are decked out right now, of course, with the helmet. So, uh, yeah, the last thing we're going to look at is uh, I added, like I said, I added uh, House Tyrell, House Aaron, House Baratheon troops. We're not going to go through all those troops. Uh, but we can look through, we might as well look through a few of them. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's check out Stormlands first. So you see all our Stormlands people are they got their new armors on and if you scroll over here you got your house Baratheon they have their they should have okay here it is yeah there's our house Baratheon they this is the only the only uh troops in the mod that actually have a huge sledgehammer so there you go we got house Baratheon troops let's go check out the here's a robber let's check out the robber knight while we're right here that robber knight there he is Where's Tyrell at? Where's the, where's the reach? So of course we got a, re a reach. Now here they go, they're decked out in their new stuff. And then if you scroll over here, we got our house Tyrell stuff over here. There you go. Wish it wouldn't just keep making me do this. But once you get down here, you can either choose what you want to do. You can be a Tyrell Knight. Tyro House Guard, or you can be a Tyro Long Bowman. So that's that. The last thing we'll look at real fast over here in these troop trees is the Veil. Of course, we got I've got their little Gambisons on there. We got our our basic Veil troop trees, and then if you scroll up here, you got your House Aaron troops also. I just left that helmet on them because I just think that helmet looks a whole lot better than the other one. I think I might actually took that hell other helmet out the mine. But anyway, okay. The last thing we're going to look at is is our giants i've added giants to the mob they're not super big because we can't add uh because we can't add custom set skeletons yet but they are super good i mean they'll they do kick ass so oh i can't spell g here it is you can't even see them so big but uh they're pretty they're pretty giant they got great stats uh, they're level seven troops so they're I don't know if your dude's six foot tall they look like they're about nine or ten foot tall uh i would love to get them like somewhere between 12 and 15 foot tall eventually uh, but they're still they're still pretty good and they're still i mean and whenever i decide to start playing i'll definitely go through here and uh 
and, and, and get, grab me a whole shit ton of giants and go wreak havoc. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll, well, I also, what else? There's something else I want to say. I also, uh, I also changed the, oh yeah, I changed the, the, the bonus, the clan bonus for the economy. It was a multiplication factor of almost two X to all, uh, money received to a, just a base plus 300 a day to all clans. So from the day one, you everybody, every clan just gets 300. This will help the poor clans tremendously and only help the rich clans a little bit. So that's the way it, it, it's, it seems like it's working out better from all the testing I could do. So we don't have any super, you know, making the rich get super richer. So uh, we'll see how that works out. I've also did a little bit of a dipl diplomacy tweet where I think the wars look a little bit better. So, but that's... I mean, that's going to take a lot of testing to see the, see what's up. Uh, I'm going to try to integrate Service Soldier and Banner Persistence, Color Persistence, into the mod before the, uh, 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 the upload tomorrow. So uh, be on the lookout for it. Uh, check it out. I'm excited to finally take a little break from modding for, for a week or so and, and, and play a little bit, make some YouTube videos. So check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.